Pep Guardiola is a genius of a manager for sure. Hate him or love him, you just have to respect how much he's achieved as a manager in just a little over a decade. In Spain, in Germany and now in England, he's shown himself to be a great manager and indeed, one of the greatest of all time. But there are some things you probably didn't know about this household name in European football and that's what this video is for. We bring you 10 things you didn't know about the Manchester City boss, so let's get straight to it. Number 1. He was once a ball boy When he was just a kid, Pep Guardiola was on the Camp Nou sidelines throwing balls to the players. He would look on from just outside the pitch and wish to be there playing on the field of play someday. Well, as a diligent person that he is, he indeed worked his way up from being just a ball boy to being one of the brightest players ever in his position and then ultimately to being one of the best football managers in the world. Number 2. He was once the best under-21 player in the world Pep Guardiola is not only a brilliant manager, he was also an exceptional player and he started out young. At 13, he was already an important player in the Barcelona academy and at 19, he'd become a first-team player. When Cruyff first saw him play, he was so impressed by his ability and intelligence on the ball. In his first sighting of him, the Dutch manager changed teenage Pep's position and made him the pivot. From that moment, he became indispensable in the Barcelona first team. He was still very important even after Cruyff left. He was a very important part of the Barcelona team which won the club's first European trophy in 1992 along with La Liga that same season. All these led Guerin Sportivo, a prestigious Italian magazine, to name young Pep Guardiola the finest under-21 player in the world at the time. We bet you didn't know that the genius manager was also a genius player. Number 3. Barcelona rejected him and he rejected Barcelona Pep and Barcelona have a pretty complicated relationship. He had always been a fan of the club since he was a boy and his dream was to play for the Blaugranas. And yes, he eventually did and he excelled while he did too, but it didn't come easy. Pep went for trials at Barcelona as a little boy but he was rejected. But that wasn't going to deter him. He tried again, but even then, he still didn't catch the eye of anyone at Barcelona and so for a second time, he was rejected. This time, it did affect him a bit. Yes, he went for another trial, but he wasn't so confident this time. But funnily enough, this time he did impress. He was offered a contract with La Masia almost immediately, but Pep had doubts in his mind, so this time, it was him doing the rejecting. Pep and his father were concerned about the change of environment and a little worried about how the boy would cope with the demanding conditions at the Barcelona Academy. But Barcelona wanted their talent so badly that they made a second offer in 84. This time the Guardiolas accepted it and well, the rest as they say, is history. Number 4. He nearly joined Man City after turning down Chelsea and United Pep Guardiola joined Manchester City in 2016 but did you know that he very nearly joined them a decade earlier? After a brief spell at Qatar when his playing career was winding down, the Spanish midfielder was still highly sought after, especially by English clubs. He turned down offers from Chelsea and Manchester United, but he showed interest in the City project. He trialled with the blue side of Manchester and the deal was almost done, but it fell through because both parties could not agree on personal terms. So he went to Mexico to complete his playing career at Dorados. Who would have known that fate would bring him back to Manchester as an employee there? Number 5. He was banned for substance abuse during his playing days During his time in Italy, Pep Guardiola tested positive for Nandrolone, a banned substance. Two weeks later, another test was done and still, two nanograms of Nandrolone was discovered in his bloodstream. As a result, the former Barcelona man was banned for four months. To be honest, it is pretty surprising that a man like Guardiola, who is such a hard man and big on discipline, would use an illegal substance. He just doesn't seem the type of man that would indulge in such a thing. Well, it happens that he actually didn't. Apparently, the human body is able to produce some amount of nandrolone on its own and that was the case with Pep. And although he served his ban in the early 2000s, it wasn't until 2007 that the Spaniard was cleared of all charges. By then though, he had already hung up his boots. The Italian National Olympic Committee took a bit longer to clear him though. Although he was cleared in 2007, the committee didn't clear him on their end until 2009 when he had already secured a senior managerial role. Number 6. His idol was former UEFA president Michel Platini Michel Platini was a fine midfielder during his playing days and he has three Ballon d'Or awards to show for it. 
Pep watched Platini a lot growing up and really idolised him. The Spaniard even had the jersey of the French legend hanging in his room when he was still a kid. And although they played in different areas of midfield during their respective playing days, Pep modelled his game after Platini's. In fact, Guardiola nearly joined Juventus because that was the club Platini played for until he hung up his boots. The deal was nearly done. Guardiola even flew to Turin and met with Carlo Ancelotti, the manager of Juve at the time. There was an agreement in principle for Pep's signature, but it all broke down when Ancelotti was sacked. The new coach wasn't really keen on the move, so he joined Brescia instead to play with Baggio. Wait a minute, you seem like you're enjoying this video. If you are, please do give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Now let's get back to the video. Number 7. He met his wife when he was a teenager Pep Guardiola is one of those footballers with beautiful love stories. He met his wife way back before he even debuted in the Barcelona first team. But guess what? They didn't get married until he had finished his playing career and even left Barcelona for Bayern Munich. We really wonder why they waited so long. Anyway, they are still happily married and even have three kids together, Myra, Marius and Valentina. Number 8. He has beef with Gary Lineker Pep Guardiola has a long-lasting grudge against a former Barcelona player, Gary Lineker. Pep was still a ball boy when Gary was a player at Barca and that was when the beef began. Pep said in an interview that the reason for his grudge was Gary's continual refusal to give him his shirt. I ask you the t-shirt after the game and you never give me. Really, never. After almost every game, little Pep would ask for the Englishman's shirt but he never got it. When the pair met in an interview years after they had both retired, Pep aired his grievances. But before anything could fly, Lineker took a first shot at the city boss. He said he didn't know that that was Pep asking all those times and it was probably because he still had hair then. Anyway, in his defence, Gary said that in his days, jerseys were not surplus like they are now, so they were not really allowed to give them out the way players do these days. But Pep was not having it. He told Lineker that he would never forgive him. But all that was just in good fun. The two former Barcelona players are actually on very good terms. Number 9. His mother died of Covid Coronavirus has been such a vicious plague since it hit in the first quarter of 2020. The pandemic has affected millions of people all around the world and sadly, the Guardiolas are one of those people. In 2020, Pep's mother Dolores Guardiola died from complications of Covid-19. She battled the virus for some time but later died at a hospital in Barcelona on the 6th of April 2020. Looking back now, it's even more impressive how Pep soldiered on in spite of the huge loss he suffered. He even managed to win a trophy that year. Just wow. By the way, we at Goal90 used this opportunity to send our love and heartfelt condolences to the Guardiolas as well as anyone who has been a victim of this ruthless plague and also to those who have lost loved ones to this deadly virus. We are with you. We will always be with you. Number 10. Pep is a very political man Pep is known to have been very vocal about his opinions and not just for football-related opinions but literally everything else. If you've noticed in recent times, the city boss has often worn shirts with bold statements to the pitch side during games. And he didn't just start now. Even when he was at Bayern Munich, he once wore a shirt with a bold message at a press conference. With the print on the shirt, he demanded justice for an Argentinian journalist who suspiciously died during World Cup duties in Brazil in 2014. He was charged by UEFA because of the gesture, but it didn't seem that Guardiola cared so much after that. The Manchester City manager also publicly supports the political independence of Catalonia. He even came out to publicly declare that he would participate in the pro-independence coalition in the 2015 regional parliamentary election. So there you have it, 10 things you probably didn't know about Pep Guardiola. If you enjoyed this video, slap a like on it. Also subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any of our new videos. Catch you in the next one. Bye bye.